SCP-001, When Day Breaks the Gay Guardian by Mr. Illustrated. You guys really messed with the last Mr. Illustrated. Thank you for your video. So Mr. Illustrated is pretty fire. Let's get into it. All right, let's go. Uriel stood calm and bold before the gate to heaven. Surrounding him on all sides, a wall of flesh probed the perimeter. Things that were once human, corrupted and mutilated into something new. Something inferior to his master's creation. The sun stared down at him with its evil red eye, taunting him. Uriel felt no fear. The flesh could not pass the barrier. A deep moat of ash and charred earth marked where so many of these abominations had tried and failed to cross. Uriel sneered. The sun still stared at him. A blinding explosion shook the landscape as another monster tried its luck. It was obliterated in an instant. Another tried, and then another. Uriel looked out with disdain. These were once people. They had families, commitments, and dreams. His master's very first creation had turned on them all. What once lit up the sky had now plunged creation into a different kind of darkness. Why did his master not act? The question entered his mind again. His thoughts were interrupted as another creature crossed the boundary. No, all of them were crossing. This he would like to see. Uriel arose and surveyed the scene. He was shocked to see the sun pushing all its infantry onto the front line. What was this? Did the sun hate his master's creation so much that it was determined to see its own warped attempt at life destroyed? It was inconsequential. His great sword danced across the landscape, cutting down the flesh in seconds, reducing them to dust once more. Fertilizer for the garden. Then he understood. These weren't infantry. They were pawns. He sent something big across the boundary. Great conglomerations of humans and animals now melted and molded into monstrous forms approached him. The bishops made their move. Two great horned beasts charged straight at him. They were too immense for a direct strike. So instead he swiftly darted to the side and with one great swipe decapitated them. A quick follow-up attack reduced the pieces to ash. He heard a screech from behind and dodged as several smaller but more nimble things on large legs appeared above him. The enemy's knights darted from side to side. A futile effort. Blinding arcs of energy shot out from his weapon and vaporized them all. He continued mopping up the pawns awaiting the rooks. The tide of flesh was relentless. His sword spiraled around the perimeter creating a whirlpool of ash and embers. A low bellow vibrated off the ground as two titanic pillars of flesh approached him from opposite sides. Uriel had to physically crane his neck to look up at them. His weapon blasted chunks out of them but their wounds were very quickly healed by more flesh. They came closer. They were going to swallow him and the gate. Uriel thrust his sword deep into the ground. The earth's crust fractured and the ground collapsed into the fire below. Uriel and the gate stood there on a pedestal as the rest of the ground and the flesh with it fell to flame. The pillars of flesh collapsed into millions of tendrils, all screeching as they tried to pull themselves out. Instead, they slowly burnt away and were silent. A high-pitched tone pierced him and he looked out to see a deer approaching him. The opponent's queen. A broken memory returned. Had he seen this thing before? In another time, in another place? Fire, blood, ice and concrete filled his mind. He could not remember. The angel looked on, incredulous, as the ground reformed around him, sealing away the monsters. The deer commanded it. Its shaky legs moved without symmetry as the distorted head showed signs of what was once a face. This hybrid creature was fighting the sunlight unsuccessfully. It was not of this world. The power this thing radiated was palpable and Uriel felt fear. He summoned the legions. His own army lined up in front of him, all looking at this creature that continued to advance. The legions of heaven stood firm, but it didn't seem to care. It crossed the boundary and the first line of angels moved to attack. There was a crack and a flash and Uriel was shocked to see several large hexagonal grey columns standing where his allies once did. The second line attacked and a second flash and crack resulted in another line of columns. Uriel ordered his remaining angels back through the gate. They quickly obeyed. He then spun on his heels, took a final look at paradise and slammed the gate shut. A ball of metallic elements hit him in his back and he went sprawling into the dirt. He quickly recovered and brought his sword around, colliding with another ball that was spiraling around the creature's head. It shattered, sending particles of creation out like sparks. Tiny portals to other realities opened and shut up as the sparks fizzled away. 
Yuri went to swing again, but the deer fixed its gaze on his sword and it turned to sand in his hands. The thing's antlers pinned Uriel against the gate. Then a mass of flesh rising out of the deer gave Uriel a command. You will open the gate. His one purpose given to him was to guard the gate to the garden, to the end. Uriel reached back, gripped the bars of the gate and began pulling. The gate resisted. He focused his strength and power into his arms and with a final crack the bar broke free. The blast sent both Uriel and the deer hurtling backwards. Before the deer could recover, Uriel summoned the last of his strength and plunged the bar from the gate into the deer's neck. Cracks of light began to spread across them both before a final flash enveloped everything. The light cleared. An unspoiled gate to Eden could briefly be seen fading away. In front of it was the charred and lifeless husks of the two combatants, slowly crumbling away to join the earth. And that concludes this oh, When Day Breaks video. That was fire. I've heard of the Gate Guardian, but I didn't know he was boxing somebody that cold, that flesh monster. That was fire. Follow me on Twitch, roll to affiliate. Almost at 103 followers away. And if you guys would like to subscribe, that'll be good too. I love you. We up to the next one. So.